Gentiel points down this path outside of town and says, Go there. Find the gardeners who tend that place. They will help you find Iscariel and retrieve the knowledge we need. Tell my mother I miss her. Just past the edge of town, huge trees with gnarled branches loom over a wide, circular stone well. The well's interior is lined with ancient stone steps that spiral down into the darkness of the earth below. Gentiel has told you that this place, known as the Memory Cache, is the place that Lua was built around. I believe previous, civiliz- previous civilizations have come and gone in these mountains, and deep beneath Lua's stony streets lies this ancient, sacred site, a place where great scholars of the past were laid to rest. The steps lie before you. What do you do? I will be going ahead. You said it was dark down there, yes? Yes. I'll be taking a torch out of my pack and preparing it, getting it lit before we go down. And I will uh, cast light upon my staff. Very well. Are we all ready then? I think so, yes. I am ready Uh. in the shadows. I guess I will lead the way. All right. You are able to see in the dark, yes? Correct. All right. And I will be right behind you with my torch, regardless. Hmm. Um, how does this look? Is it just a pathway down into a... Any sealed doors? Are there walls on each sides of us? Uh, it appears to be, uh, I mean, there are walls. I mean, it's a, it's a well, and it sort of has a spiral staircase leading down. Okay. Yeah, just, I'm not rushing or anything. <clears throat> kind of just looking around, taking it in whatever, wherever we are. I have not been here as long as I've been in Castrovel. So I'm just plodding my way slowly kind of enjoying it it seems like we were on the rough run for our lives for the past few days making your way down the stairs the musty smell of this place you know is sort of greeting you as you make your way down sort of this earth and um, mold and uh, dust you know, that kind of smell uh, greets you on your way down. There are uh, places for torches in the wall, but there are no torches there or lit. And the spiral staircase continues down deeper and deeper as the smells of earth and mildew intensify as you make your way further down into this sort of cavern. Eventually, you see this natural stone passageway as you make it to the bottom of the well. The passage twists and turns for at least a mile, interspersed with inclines and declines and stairwells before descending down further. Down to a final circular staircase. At the bottom of the stairs, the passage widens into a landing. To either side of this eastern exit, the walls have been carved 
with identical images of leafless trees. Mm. Uh, I would like to look at these images is there to see if there's anything particular or okay yeah if like it has any kind of significance okay you can make a uh lore check for castrovel or you can right. do a i would take a nature check i'll do one of those Um, Did you only want one person rolling? No, oh. I, I, you can do multiple, but we'll say that you're helping Arash talk. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, here's what I will say. Um, you've been given a little bit of information about these uh, leafless, or not these leafless trees, but like about this memory cache. I think the only thing that really comes to mind is that um, this place is rumored to have these memories of these old scholars, right? Um, Seeing leafless trees might be some kind of metaphor you think? Hmm. Or an allegory? Isn't an allegory in this case? I don't know. I always get that mixed up. Allegory, I think. Well, uh, mm. I'll just keep silent. I'll just, I'll just say, hmm. Mm. And I keep walking. Very well. Are we in exploration mode or are we just... Traveling. Um, you are traveling. Um, okay. So, uh, up ahead, you see that this passage sort of shrinks, and uh, there's maybe a five foot wide or so path to squeeze through around a bend near the bottom of this uh, chamber. It's the only way forward, it appears. As we've continued on, is there there any sort of imagery on the walls um, still here, or was it only back previously with the leafless trees? Previously in the the, the last room. Understood. All right. Well, it appears we only have one way forward, yes? I yes. nod and I'll I'll keep moving away. I mean moving on. <clears throat> moving forward. It looks a little tight, but we should be fine. Let's bring you over here. Let's see if did that work. Nope. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Okay. Let's try and fix something. Um, it's Karun's darkness taking over. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh. Weird, it didn't save your vision. Why is that happening? Should save your vision. That's odd. I will fix that. Um, but, uh, Arash Talk, you have a uh, light cast, and uh, there is a torch here from Yara. Oh, I know why. I'm being stupid. That's why. Let me fix I have. I have a dark vision up to yeah stupid amount there we go <laughs> okay you are over here put yourselves in whatever marching order you'd like um i hate to be the bearer Wait, about but i can't see anything just click over here you can't see anything Mm-mm. i've scrolled the entire way all of it's black i'll try refreshing Okay, so which way is forward? Where I am or the stairwell? Stairs are where we came from. 
Refresh is going now. down, yes. not up. So we were going up the stairs? Uh, no, you I, were coming down. Those are downstairs, just to soup. It's just continued onward into a path that is now narrowing. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yes, I will continue down this way. As we're and moving along. Wait, um, it's not updating my vision. Uh oh. Let's see if I can fix that. Wow. Maybe it's because the torches are the no, ones giving not. the vision. There you okay, go. there we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, ah, well, the see. torch was. We need to give you. You've got dark vision or low light vision? Yeah, I have, a, I have fiendish eyes for his dark vision. Um, I can give you the details if you like. Here you go. Okie doke. There we go. Yeah. As we're moving along, I'd like to be keeping an eye on the walls. Um, seeing if there's anything unique or something uh, that might indicate any sort of other entryways, etc. Very well. Um, there's a <clears throat> opening up ahead, and I see greenery, and um, there's water in front, a uh, little distance ahead. Approach with caution. I'm going to stick to the side and uh, start to <clears throat> look around before the others come or not. You can see some light um, coming down from the uh, from the ceiling. There is a fissure that is here, um, sort of bringing some beams of light into this um, area ahead of you. Um, Sky peeks into this sinkhole chamber through a fissure in the ceiling, hundreds of feet above the floor. Narrow streams of water cascade down the walls in a dozen tiny waterfalls, collecting in a pool to the south. Beyond the pool, the ceiling lowers into a smaller cavern that turns a corner and disappears from view. Hmm. <clears throat> I can scout ahead, or... I can also check the water if we wish. Um, who's in the lead? It was Malavik who was in the lead. Okay. It was, yes. but I, and I, I was behind you. Uh, perception check for me, Malavik. Okay. It's a regular perception. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me. Okay. I'll re-roll it because you know, I have an extra point and that's great <laughs> right nine cool. into a ten yeah let's go ahead and get those out of the way all right <clears throat> so everything seems clear then Malavik <sighs> what I can see there is water ahead I would proceed with caution. Remember, we are looking for these gardeners, as they mentioned before. Um, this greenery around here, is this all visible to us? Is it large or is it small? Oh yeah, there's greenery all over the walls. Um, it's gotta be having to do with the moisture here. There's these, um, basically these, like, uh, various plants just kind of co covering the walls on the east and western sides. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead a little bit, but I'm going to stay very cautious. Uh, I'm going to slowly move my way uh, to about here just to give a peek around so I can see. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there's something I had past the, past the water. I don't know what it is, but there, are, there are three of them. I don't know if they're statues or what. I can't tell. I'm moving up toward the water. Fair enough. 
Yes, I'll move towards the center of the room a little closer to them. Perun uh, stalks amongst the shadows and tries to move along the walls. Uh, it's at this point I would like you all to select your tokens and please roll initiative. Oh, I figured as much as exactly. It's our first one. Ooh. Yay. Okay. I'd rather it on initiative. I will be making some secret rolls. Hey, secret it rolls. <laughs> it's sitting ass for my plus two. Also, my roll was wrong because it, that for some reason, it kept that negative one from fatigue on and it didn't, I don't even have fatigue on. Okay. So you have a 29 instead of a 28? Well, it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a 31 without. Um, that it's plus doing two. 19 plus seven plus two. I'm not seeing the negative modifier. Yeah, there's no negative oh, it says modifier. Temp negative one. Oh, okay. No, it's it 28. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. And it added your plus two already because you have oh, it on there. Oh, interesting. Because normally it add, makes me add it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um. Mm, let's see here. Uh, I think we can do probably this one. Um. I'm gonna roll this. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is uh, uh, not good enough. Okay, so Malavik, uh, you go first. Uh, there's some kind of strange sensation. It suddenly gets very hot for you, Malavik. Um, as uh, let's see here. I need a fortitude save, please. 22. Whoa, okay. That's very good. Very, very good. Uh, it's getting really warm, Malvik. Mm. Prepare yourself. Something's not right here. Do you feel that? The heat? No. I would like to, uh, I can see across from here. Is there, do I see where the source of whatever is coming from? Nope. The heat's coming from, or is it just a swelling heat? It's just getting very warm. I am not jumping in the water. Um, protect yourselves. Be ready. I don't suggest getting in the water or anything. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's my go. It is your turn. I have no idea what to do. I guess I will perceive for an action. You can absolutely try and see what the hell's going on. Uh, this will be a perception check. 25. That is enough. Oh. Uh, Malavik, on the wall hidden by this greenery, you see this creature uh, sort of hidden behind these plants. Um, mm, uh, it's very hard to see, but you managed to see it. Wow. Oh, well done. We're under attack. Um, and I will for my last action. Two actions. Oh, yes, I do get two actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am going to. It's going to make this a little bit bigger so you can kind of see what this creature looks like. <gasps> okay, that's disgusting. Some kind of <laughs> in, it's like a nightmare sloth. Why? 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 Uh, yeah, I'm going to run up and. Kind of a, a combination slap. between a spider, a sloth, and a... Like naked mole rat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How far up on the wall is it exactly? Uh, Probably about 40 feet up. Okay. Oh, it's 40 feet up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You do also still have things I've given you. I will say, and this does not require a check, that the wall looks very climbable. There's lots and lots of plants and vines and stuff hanging all around. You said it will not require a check? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can just tell that it looks... Oh, it looks oh okay. I mean, there's saying. plants everywhere, like, rooted into the wall and stuff. Uh, I guess what I will do is... I have two actions, so I guess I'll use this sling. I, 
I like look in my bag and take it out and I scoff at it because I'm just like, uh, and I'll point us up there and, and sling. So I use the sling. Actually, I'm, I have a question. I don't know. Maybe someone that they're very much into Pathfinder. Does if I rage, does it apply to all my damage or only my melee damage? Good question. I'm not sure how it is in Pathfinder. I know in uh, uh, D and D, it, 5e, it's all damage. Uh, yeah. all, all like physical damage. Warriors is uh, super nerfed compared melee. to melee. Two damage extra for melee strikes. That's yeah, with melee nice. weapons, yeah. Horrible. Okay. All right. Well, that's probably an extra feet later. I'm guessing. Mm. Hey. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Yay! That is a net one. Oh, I forgot to roll for Karin. Oops. So I guess I break this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it just it, the rock falls from the sling as you're. Yeah, I just get frustrated. Yeah. I throw it to the ground uh and i will run and climb i will climb that's what i will do i'm just i'm just not happy um yep. uh, wait what's the climbing axe is what five feet every every check or something like that uh i have you to can't check. like move your full movement or nothing right correct all right, then if that's the case, I won't throw it to the ground. I'll just, oh, let me just double check. Use climb, it again. Climb is one action. Uh, you have both hands free. You move up, down, or across an, on an incline. Uh, unless it's particularly easy, you must attempt an athletics check. Um, based on the nature of the incline environmental circumstances, you're flat-footed unless you have a climb speed. Uh, on a success, you move up, across, or safely down for five feet per 20 feet of your land speed. Yeah, no. Uh, I'll I'll just I'll just use this link again. If you crit, then it is uh, ten feet. Ten. Per, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. Nope. I'm just like this doesn't work, and uh, I'll I'll just start getting angry. I will that say, I, just so you're aware, that uh, this wall I would classify as fairly easy to climb, and it is. Um, based on your athletics check. Oh. Well, I'll just have to wait till my next turn. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Karoon. Uh, say, you, what is that? Can I tame it? Oh, I wonder if it wants to be our friends. Um, let me see if I have, you know, like a bomb for that. Um, do I have a love bomb? Why are you looking? I want to, uh, is it within this greenery? It is. It's using okay, the greenery great. as cover. Cool. I know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let me see here. Uh, Karoon will, uh, light shit on fire. Um, I think. Um, now she can't reach this creature. It's 40 feet up or so. Um, so I think she takes a circumstance penalty for every five feet past 20. If that's correct. Uh, it might be five or 10. It was gracious. She'll definitely miss if that's the case. Um,. It's a whole 20 feet different. Or 15. Ranged attack. Ranged weapons. Um. A minus two penalty for each additional increment beyond the first. So that's but every 20 feet? Yes, the range increments, oh, gotcha, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. So she would have to spend two extra. So she'd take a minus four to 
reach this thing because it's 40 feet up. Actually, she can get right under it. She can get right under it and she'll throw it. Um, That's not as bad as it could be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that'll be a minus two to this circumstance penalty. Let's see. <clears throat> that's a 23, so that's a 21 to hit. Okay. You should all want me to play Karoon all the time, the way I roll. <laughs> uh, okay, of course I roll a one on the actual damage. Uh, all right. So that is a hit. Uh, Karun just leans back. Okay, okay. Let's see. I've been pumping iron lately, you know, like lifting rocks and things. So I'm going to launch this, uh, lesser alchemist fire at this, uh, creature that I definitely want to befriend, but I'm also terrified of. Okay. Uh, so that's one fire damage as this liquid napalm-like substance bursts out uh, from the vial, and uh, you see uh, some of the uh, greenery briefly catch fire and then quickly go out because it is rather moist in here. The creature now has to make a climb check to see if it falls. Yep. Uh, DC of the slope. Slope. Uh, it's a climb check. Okay, so climb check is yes. Uh, what does that say? It succeeds. Yeah. 27. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'd assume with this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Karun says, "Oh wow, it's like sticking to the wall. Oh, that's a lot of legs on that thing. It's okay. All right." Okay, I'm going to uh, rush over here with my last action, and uh, I'm going to take cover. Okay, and now this strange creature will do some stuff. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. I am going to... Read this real quick. Okay, uh, I need a fortitude save, Malvik. Okay. The twenty-two. Success. Give me a second one. Why me? I'm just kidding. All right. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, that is a fail. Uh, suddenly, starting to get very warm, Malavik. You feel something sort of spiking in your mind, like a really intense headache in the, like, in the center of your head. Um, and it's almost like an afterthought. It starts to get really, really hot, uh, on your skin. Too hot, even for you. Um, and you will take... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 15 Ooh. fire damage as <laughs> suddenly uh, you you see Mal Malavik uh, uh, burst into flame briefly. Just this like flash powder like effect of fire burst forth on Malavik's skin. And then I need another fortitude save from you, Malavik. <sighs> okay. I'm the raid boss. This time you have to beat a 12. Okay, uh, this time uh, you you sort of shake it off. You feel this like intense pain, uh, like a headache that's kind of moving around your head and uh, you shake it off. The <laughs> flames do not burst forward <laughs> on your skin. It's hot. Okay. Um... Okay, Orashtok, please make a fortitude saving throw for me. Ten. Uh oh. Ooh, uh, Orashtok, 
you uh, suddenly feel this headache yourself. It's starting to move around inside your brain. It's like a headache that's just sort of circulating. And suddenly you see uh, parts of your skin uh, catch fire. It's like spontaneous combustion. Uh, and you ah. take 12 fire damage. I need another fortitude safe, please, Arashat. 12. Okay. Nine more fire damage. Just little bursts of flame begin to erupt all around. Kind of. And a third. That's Not 20. Cool. Nicely done. Okay, now I need to read some Almost stuff. got taken out in one round. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. No special effect on a critical success. Uh, but I will say, Arashtak, as you're spinning around wildly, you see a second creature in the foliage on the western wall. Buried in the foliage. This one is about 20 feet up. Okay, Arashtok, it is your turn. All right, what I'm going to do is, on the one nearest to me after trying to pat out flames, acid splash. Okay. Now it's a 14 to hit. That is a miss. However, there is splash damage of one. You see several of the plants sort of like wither away from this area, leaving a little bit more of this creature exposed. The rest of you can see this creature now on the wall. It also needs to make the climb check against the wall's DC. Okay. It's pretty good at that. But that's Unless a critical it fail. Fails. <laughs> it falls to the ground. It makes this horrible. <laughs> sound as it just kind of like tries to catch on to the various plants and it's like ripping them out of the wall as it falls to the ground thud falls to the ground prone good 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 okay uh and i think 20 feet's the cutoff for before it starts taking damage so good for it uh <laughs> i jump into the water <laughs> okay Oh, Fair enough. Baltic said don't go in the water. And that's all I do. You said don't go in the water. I almost died from catching fire. <laughs> I feel like water is a logical jump here. <laughs> awesome fingers. Mm hmm. Well, it's either fire or water. I'll pick water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. Yara, it's your turn. All right. Now, that being said, with our lizard friend jumping into the water, am I able to target him still? Or has he been submersed? I'm not sure. I'm just on the top of the water. I didn't dive, dive. Then I have yes. swim speed, so I can... I'm just, like, All head right. above the water, like... All right. So, that being said, what I will do then is, uh, first and foremost, I will grab Malavik by the arm, and on his burns, I will place an herb, and I will accelerate the healing uh, using my field medicine, uh, my battle uh, medicine, uh, perchance as well, um, in order to try and alleviate some of his uh, burning and the pain that he is feeling during this combat. So I will be rolling treat wounds at a trained level with my assurance for 11 healing on Malavik. That's uh, one of my turns. Uh, uh. Right. Uh, then I will turn, and I will see that Rostock has taken quite the beating, so what I will do is I will go ahead and I will uh, lash a hand back and cast a two action. Um, level one or level two, let us see. He was hit pretty hard, and he's quite squishy, but I'll go level one, so it'll be a two action heal. That'll be the final bit of my actions here. And that will be a 7 plus 8, so it will be 15 points of healing for a Rostock. Very nice. Could you all do better at maybe killing things? I'm trying! I knocked it down! Very good! <laughs> and that is my turn. Malavik, one lies on the ground. <laughs> oh, Bro. yeah. Rip that thing 
Pissed. I will now rage in draconic fashion. You will see flames burst out of my skin and course over my wounds as I gain six temporary hit points. And I will sudden impact to that monkey or whatever it is over there. The naked uh, mole monkey. That thing. Uh, where is it? Sudden charge, excuse me. That's what it's called. Okay. This is uh, basically a double action move and attack. <laughs> 26 to hit for 20 slashing <gasps> damage. That is a hit. And it's, that has plus four fire damage in it. So if it's weak to fire. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you said four additional fire damage? It's The damage is included in there. Oh, okay. But it's yeah, yeah. Four, gotcha. four fire. If it's weak to fire. Uh, Malavik brings down his greatsword and strikes this creature. <laughs> Has this horrible sort of screech and clicks like... Uh, as you strike it. Uh, just so so foreign to anything that you've ever encountered, any monster or creature that you've ever encountered before. <sighs> hey, that would be the end of my turn. Uh, Karun will... Called in this game, what's the intimidate do? Oh, I know, it, um, I know it creates frightened, but what's the actual name for it? The demoralize. 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 Thank yes. you. I feel like the range on that is like twenty feet, but it might just be however far you can see. I think it's if you have line of sight, but I'm not sure. Karun is going to rush back over underneath this creature and say, uh, Hey! Hey, you! You know, if you're not careful, I'll light this whole place on fire! I'm crazy! I'll do it! And, Does it understand, Colin? <laughs> uh, she's like waving this, this lesser alchemist fire at it like she's getting ready to throw this thing again. Um, and let's see. Uh, gonna make an intimidation check. Twenty-six. How does she always roll ridiculously? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! It's me. Uh, <laughs> Can uh, you just throw for all of us forever? <laughs> yes, that would be marvelous, darling. Well, I could just play with myself, Dan. But then It'd that be wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's allowable on Twitch. Uh, well, okay. that's the Patreon, right? Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so that will be a success on the Demoralize, and then uh, Karun will throw another Lesser Alchemist fire. I'm gonna do it! I told you, I'm crazy! I'm doing it anyway! Do it, Karun! I believe in you! Uh, <laughs> it, yeah, she throws it. It's just... It doesn't... It doesn't go very far. It lights part of the wall on fire nearby, though. Uh, and that will still do some splash damage. Okay. Fall! Fall! <laughs> So it's not a crit fail, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was a crit fail. Uh, okay. And now these creatures. Uh, okay. One that is by Malavik will go first. Um, this one, uh, it sort of like writes itself uh, with an action. It sort of stands up 
Um, and then it will try and strike at you with its beak that you realize also has teeth inside. Um, and uh, it will try and bite you with its jaws. 13 is a miss. I'll put my fist in his mouth and then, and then throw up my hands in the mouth or my hand and make a fist and okay. misses. Okay. Uh, it's swinging around wildly as it will then try and uh, attack again. 15 is a miss. It's just pissing me off even more. It's yep. a miss. Okay. Um, this one that's up by Karoon. Actually, I think I still have to make an athletics check because it still took damage. Um, oh, did it take damage? Yeah. Oh, yes. If the, if it takes damage, it needs to, yes. It took splash And it damage. takes a, a negative based off of whatever you rolled with Demoralize. Yeah. Fear one. Or it's frightening. <laughs> Still a 26 Two. on oh. that, so... Wait, uh, wait. It, was that a critical f- uh, fail on its Frighten earlier? On its Frighten? Yeah, on the Demoralize. Was, was uh, it a critical success or no? So it was a 26. No, it wasn't a critical success. Okay, okay. No. So it's then this Frighten one, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, it stays up. Okay, this creature, uh, Karun says, Wow, it's getting really hot in here. Um, is that normal? Am I going through uh, menopause or something? Um, no, darling. I think hot? it's casting it's something. Really hot. Okay. Oh. And, um. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, that. I think is a crit. Does she have any hero points? She does. Uh, I'm just double checking. Yep. We're going to use a hero point. <laughs> We're going to use a hero point on that one. <laughs> Sorry, Nicotine. Uh, but it's the one from today anyway. Oh, good. Yeah, it's still a fail. This is still going to suck, but at least it's not, not critical. Uh, critical. Yeah. I'm rolling high on those. Uh, that's bad. Uh, okay. Uh, Karun. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, did I drop an alchemist fire? Oh! Uh, screaming in pain. Karun takes 15 fire damage. And then again. I need another fortitude save. Good luck, Karun. Okay, that's a 25. That's a success. And the last one is another success. There's Karun's just different parts of Karun are smoking. I'm not a smoker. I don't like it. I've never been a fan of the smell. But drugs are fine, okay? Do you have any drugs? You're the one who has them. Right? Yes. Uh, Arash talk. Uh, first thing I do is do a perception check in the water to see if I'm going to die to some other creature while I'm in here at the ranch. <laughs> uh, you said you're going to do another perception check in the water to see if there is a, uh, some sort of... It looks of, safe to me! Some sort <laughs> of hentai creature down there? That's that looks fine, I think. Huh? <laughs> With a nine... <laughs> Uh, Unless there's something so big and nine makes it obvious, that's even more scary. <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, a nine, a Roshtok, it, it appears that there's something down at the bottom of this water. Moving? Yes. <sighs> I get out of the water. <laughs> okay. Get out of the water. <sighs> Two actions. Yeah. All right. I t- uh, I take cover. That's my turn. All right. All righty. Yara. All right. 
Well, everything's gone to shit now, hasn't it? Uh, I will go ahead and I will cast an arm out towards Karun as the scars on my face begin to reapparate and stretch towards the center of my face, bursting forth with this uh, strange light. And I will cast Lifelink on Karun, so she will be healed for one, but I will be taking three points of damage for her each turn. Um, so that is my first action. Now, with that being said, um, that moves my oracular curse to minor from inactive. And from there, I will be going ahead and I will wave a hand over my sword, the rapier, and I will cast needle dart to the one that is up above, still on the, uh, the wall there. For a 22 to hit. Okay, uh, yes, that is a hit. And that is for eight damage as Indeed. the needles form from uh, Dronus's rapier. They shoot like little darts uh, repeatedly uh, into this creature. Uh, and we need an athletics check. Okay, an 18 is going to be enough. To stay All right. Up. Fair enough. All right, and that is my turn. Malavik. I'm going to end this creature. I'll take a great overhead swing down at this creature. Actually, can I reverse that or no? Okay. I'm going to... <laughs> I mean, yeah, just because I'm I'm overly pissed off. I am so upset and mad. I'm going to stare at it deep in its ugly, beady eyes and cast Intimidating Glare. Okay. Which is normally, for those that are listening, a raging barbarian cannot do this unless they have a feat about raging intimidation. All right, an 18. This is probably gonna make it, but let me just double check. No, that is a fail. A fail on my part or his? Yours. Okay, then I'm just going to overhead swing as hard as I can. Okay. 18. Uh, uh, it just barely dodges out of the way, Malvik. And I'll reverse my grip and come across with a, across with a cleave. Yes! Oof. Ooh, that's that's a crazy crazy fail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Malvik, you, you slide on some of the uh, wet uh, stone and just kind of throw yourself like off balance as you uh, uh, make the swing and miss this creature. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Karun says, um, All right. So you set things on fire. I probably shouldn't make you on fire because that's, you know, dumb. And I will, um, I will go ahead and throw, uh, this spooky, it's very spooky, lesser dread ampule at it, okay? Um, and hopefully I can hit it, because it's, you know, it's high up and stuff. No, um, I will... Save my hero point. Um, I throw the lesser dread ampule, and uh, it just this sort of cloud of shadow spreads out from it, and it um, it just you know gives it a little headache, just a little you know mental splash damage. An ouchy wouchy. Okay, don't you know be condescending. All right. <laughs> I'm trying my best. We can't all, you know, heal everybody every turn, shoot darts from things, and 
you know, have some kind of weird curse that heals people. It's not my fault for asthma prefers me to you, darling. Okay, God. now you're just making words up, okay? Um, You've not had a for asthma! And now I will... <laughs> Uh, I will, um, I will take cover as I run back over here. Okay, taking cover in the foliage. And now, uh, the one by you, Malavik. Um... You're also in your frightening on the, uh, mm -hmm. creature. Yeah. So I shall remove that, but they cannot be demoralized again, correct? Neither one. Okay, um, let me remove this. Uh, okay, this one will try again to, uh, bite you with its beak jaws. 16 to hit. It's a miss. I'll dodge out of the way and prepare a swing. Uh, second attack. 23. Okay, and it hits you for nine slashing damage. <clears throat> this time as you move, it follows your movement and uh, its teeth rake across your flesh. Um, for its third action. Oh, sorry. I got, a, I got the mark subtracted from my, uh, so I don't know what I have. 549. Okay, I got it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, this third uh, action, it's going to start climbing again. Um, mm, now, let me check on something. It does have climb speed, so it does get mm. to move with its climb, uh, and it moves very fast. You see its many legs and arms. Uh, like a spider just making its way, grabbing vines in different locations as it moves. Uh, it's gonna move, uh, 40 feet up. It is up 40 feet now. Okay. Uh, and then the one that is still on the wall here, uh, let's see. Uh, Yara, it starts to get very warm. Uh, please make a fortitude save for me. Oh, shit. I uh -oh. will be re-rolling that. That was a natural Ooh. one 17. for our podcast listeners, and uh, that is being re-rolled into a 17 using hero point. Uh, that's better. It's still a fail, though. That is all right. Hopefully it's all right. Oh, thank uh, goodness. As the fire uh, begins to erupt, you feel your that that pain in your head, that that uh, savage headache that's kind of moving around, Yara, and uh, suddenly ah! a burst of fire. It's, a, it's the pain of being an oracle, not enough. Ah, very good. Okay, uh, go ahead and make another fortitude save. Eighteen. That's a success. Last one. Eight. That is a fail. Not a not a critical fail though. For ten more fire damage. <sighs> Just patting myself down. Arashtak. Yes. Just, there's something in the water. Just so you know. Huh. For heaven's sake. Eh, and ray of frost on this little bloodied one up again above Malavik. For a 24 to hit. 24 to hit is a hit. A seven damage, I think. Seven cold damage, yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. it does have my heightened. Good. The yeah, icy ray yeah. of frost shoots out from a Rashtok's uh, finger, and uh, you hear the creature recoil in pain. <laughs> and I uh, need to make an athletics check. 
24. It stays hanging on the wall. Yes. And for my final action, I'm just hunkering. Uh, no, no, I'm casting guidance on myself. For a plus one to my next roll. Yara, it's your turn. Ah, uh, all right. I will be t rifling through my my bag here, grabbing some herbs, and I will slap some on my arm where I'm feeling quite a bit of the pain. And I will try to accelerate the healing and cast and uh, use treat wounds via battle medicine at a trained level, utilizing insurance on myself for six healing in the first place. That is my first turn. Um, with my second turn, I will be going ahead and I will. I believe the best thing I can do in this situation is try and knock down this creature for our barbarian friend, so all pain aside, I will be going ahead and I will extend my hand with the darts and I will lash out towards the one that is on the wall above him with my needle darts for a 19 to attack. What a hit. 19 just barely hits. Uh... <sighs> Uh, more needle darts shoot up. Which one are you aiming at? Uh, the one that is closest to Malavik. Okay. And as I do that, I will say, in the words of Astarian, no, no, no! Get down from there! Okay. Uh... I walk out after that. I'm done. <laughs> White woman reverberates through the chamber. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the creature recoils in pain. And um, we're going to roll an athletics check. Ooh, 27. It's hanging tough. I tried, darlings. Anything else on your turn? <laughs> nope, that is all my action economy. Alvik. I have a question. Yes. Is the, is this what can you explain the foliage to me? Is it a tree? It's not a climbing? tree. There's vines and and like a plants like rooted plants that are sort of stuck in there. Um, there's can just I make a, a perception check to see which one it's connected to that is hanging on? Uh, actually, no. I will Never say mind. I will say you can absolutely do that. Yes. I don't think so I can because I'm raging. Okay. Well, if I can't figure out which one it is, I'm going to hack out every green thing in front of me with this flaming sword of mine. 26. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you hack the shit out of the foliage. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to catch it on fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you can sort of catch it on fire briefly, but these plants are all wet, so... It's very unlikely that you will be... Did I hit any of the vines that is holding on to? Uh, very possibly. I'm going to roll an athletics check and we're going to find out. Ooh. Yes, you do. It falls 20 feet before it grabs Ooh. onto more vines. Then I'm going to continue to hack at the one it grabs. Please make another attack roll. Hey, 26. Hey. All right. Uh, okay, it does manage to hang on. I'm going to hack again. Such a barbarian solution oh, to this problem. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I'm just like, ah, ah, just constantly. This is the anime protagonist. Well, if it didn't work, I just need to swing harder. Yep. That is I. It is I. It's in my turn. Okay. The anime protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> Such a, like, Goku solution. <laughs> well, I just need to, you know, use more key. Ha! <laughs> um, okay. They gotta pay for that whack. Come on. This is twenty dollars. <laughs> I mean, twenty dollars at least. Okay. Twenty dollars. Twenty feet down, uh, lower. Karun, uh, do I want to do that? I think. Um. Uh, 
Uh, I think what we're gonna do is... And demoralize. Uh, I think Karun is gonna do what she did before. She's gonna run over here and throw an alchemist fire. She'd probably try to get to the other one, but it's gonna take two actions to do. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I think that's the best move. Um, she's gonna take two actions to move, uh, right next to Malavik and throw up towards the MLS that's 20 feet up. With a lesser alchemist. Uh, no, let's do a lesser dread ampule. Hey. <sighs> Karun throws this lesser dread ampule. <sighs> spreads out this strange shadow-like smoke and does a little bit of mental splash damage. A uh, little bit of intrusive thoughts on this creature. Okay, that's gonna be it. Uh, this strange sloth-like creature, which is known as an Immolus. Uh, Athletics check. Yes, that is correct. Because you never know. Mm, 23 <laughs> is still enough, unfortunately. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, there's a, pl a plus and a minus for these walls being, like, easy to climb on. They're also easy to stay on for these creatures. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. It's gonna shoot a heat beam again. Um, let's see. I think it's gonna stick with Malavik. It doesn't like you very much at the moment. Uh, please make a fortitude save. That's a success. 23. Second one. 15. Ooh, that's a fail. As you take 12 fire damage from that heat beam, <clears throat> this burning sensation in your head <clears throat> radiates outward towards your body and lights you up. And then, a uh, final fortitude save, please. That is just 13. barely a success. <laughs> Adding yourself a out. Scream and uh, response. Okay. Rage. Uh, the one on the eastern wall. Uh, this creature will launch some heat beams towards you, Yara. I need uh, fortitude save. Twelve. Ooh. Um, you know what? I will re-roll that one. I'll keep the last one for a rainy day. Fourteen. Still terrible. Still a fail. Ten fire damage from this blast, Tiara. <laughs> Please make another fortitude save. Fifteen. That is just barely a fail. Did you take eleven more fire damage? <sighs> And the final fortitude save. Ooh. <sighs> you know what? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that last year point. Not a bad 16. plan. Whoo! That's a success. That's a success. Uh, Yara, not looking so hot. Very crispy right now. <sighs> uh, okay, Arash talk. Yes, I might be doing something I've never done before. And I'm double checking a thing to make sure that I actually am doing it correctly. Namely, I'm looking at the move speed. Yes, I can do that. Uh, just a Clarifying, everyone's been beating up on this one to the west side, yes? Yes. Yes. The, I believe the one on the eastern side has only taken hits from myself and Karun initially. Yes. Very good. Let's see, I'm trying to think how many. Yes, I can. All right. I move up closer to, uh. Let's see, is this one on the east still 40 feet up? No, it is 20 feet up. Perfect. Now that I move to the base of this wall, perhaps around the corner slightly. 
Ethia, I need you to do something for me. Go. I imbue Ethia with goblin pox. To which Ethia then uses two actions after my single action to climb up the wall and touch attack goblin pox on this creature. So the one on the east is 40 feet up. That's what I was asking, if it was 40 feet or you not. You asked for the west one. The west one so is So I was 20. asking for the east. That's what I'm I meant. Sorry. That's all right. I will use my full action, or the, the action then, to actually move up under it. Okay. Because before I was off to the side. Can it move 40 feet? It uses two actions to get to the thing. So, well, uh, hmm. That is a, that's a GM thing then maybe. Because the whole thing, I can use an action to command my familiar to do something. It gets two actions. Mm -hmm. In that action, I can also use an action to imbue it. So I'm moving one action, imbuing it with one, and commanding it with the last. Right. It then gets two actions to do a thing, and this thing, it says, all it says is it can use the two actions to deliver a spell touch attack. I do not know if that is included in the what's movement this, or not. What's its movement speed? It should be 20 feet climb. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then that's... I don't know if that's the, the movement and that or the delivery as well, but if you claim it, I'll take it. Okay, and what's the saving throw against the pox? 18 fortitude. fortitude. Okay. Woo. Let's see. It's too cool not to let you do it regardless. I have to let you do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, maybe... Oh! oh! It is now afflicted with goblin pox. Horrific. It is sickened one. Horrific. And next round it will have movement speed reduced. And it's going to be sick until forever, basically. Okay. Creatures making a her uh, confused and horrified sound as these horrible <laughs> pox begin to appear on its very strange-looking body. <laughs> Get down from there! Okay. That is my turn. Rastak shaking his staff up at the. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he went from lizard to the old man. This whole campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's, you know, just inherent in uh, any spellcaster, really. Uh, Bad, pretty much. <laughs> Yara. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm feeling quite crispy at the moment. Um, I will be going ahead and using one of my actions to cast a second life link, um, which will be expending my uh, final focus point for now. Um, and then, oh, my spell stuff got all sorts of resets here. What the hell? Okay, there we are. Um, so I'll be casting lifelink on a Rostok, um, and he will be healed for one point of healing. Uh, that will then extend my curse to a moderate curse. Um, so from there, I will be rolling d12s to heal myself. So the final action here, the final two that I will be taking is a two action level two healing. Um, so, I will be healing myself, it will be, the plus one is an extra d12, so it'll be, uh, 3d12, I believe, uh, plus another 8, so it will be, let's see here, that's just the summary there, no, that doesn't include all of the healing, so, that's only the 1d8, I believe, for the first one. Oh, I should have actually, yes, okay, so that would be the first one, and then it adds another d8, so I'll roll one more d8. Um. Oh my god! Three well, ones! Been, yes. So it should have oh. been d12s regardless, but we'll stick with it. Um, so that's going to be plus 16. So. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This really sucks. Um, I'm just making sure I've got everything correct. It's 1d8 for this. Uh, da 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 Yes. And then you add the one. Yes. So it'll be, uh, seven, eight points of healing 
This is what you get myself. for rolling well in the chill show. Oh, I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, so that will bring me up, I believe, to 26. Uh, and that is, that is my turn. That's all of it. Mother of God. Uh-huh. Malavik. <sighs> uh, I had a plan and I forgot. Um, oh yeah. Swinging my greatsword. Um, I am going to, wait, it's 20, it's 20 feet up. 20 feet up. How high is a vertical jump in Pathfinder? Question. Depends on what you roll, I think, but it's not much. Maybe five feet? If Three you roll feet. well. Three, there you are. Uh, Three feet. Is it just yep. based on your modifier for strength or something? It just says the height of a vertical jump is three feet. Wow. Okay. Three. Uh, I'm around seven feet. So you can attempt an athletics check to jump higher. Uh, let's check this out. Um, leap basic option is used for high jump and long jump. High jump, you stride, so you have to use a move, and then make a vertical leap and attempt a DC 30 athletics check to increase I'm the good. height of your jump. I'm going to just swipe out these, uh, these branches again. Oh. Yep, that's not. An 18. Okay, an 18. I will be making an athletics roll. Ooh, that's a crit success. Of course. Uh, yeah, this thing is super entrenched on those vines. It's not moving. I'm going to hack at him again. That's all I can do. Okay. 21. Mm-hmm. It falls to the ground. It does not fall prone. It sort of slides, grabbing vines as it's uh, 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 just losing some of its grip. It falls to the ground. It's not prone. It is great. I am going to attempt. I mean, look this up real quick. Just make sure I do this right. Uh. If I can grapple it, I'm going to... Okay, it takes one action to grapple. I think I only need one hand free, correct? Let's see. Grab, I think it's called in this. Once grabbing an opponent, it's just right to I think it's one hand free. You have free. Furious Grab. I don't think you do, if I remember right. No, I have a... Uh, no, I just said... Um... Sorry, making this complicated. Uh, okay. Let's see, actually, I want action. Doesn't say. Well, it'd be under it'd be under our handouts. The 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 actions. Um. So. You can, uh, athletics oh. grapple. I mean, for time's sakes, and just so we're not having to look up everything, I'll just slash at it. That way we don't have to worry about it. Well, it's uh, an athletics check if you want to try and grapple it. You need at least one free hand. Oh, okay. Well, the greatsword is versatile, so I can use it as one hand or two-handed. Greatsword is versatile? Yes. Do you have some special weapon. bullshit? That is just what the sword is. Uh, a long sword is versatile. I don't know if a great sword is. It is. Okay. It's different in Pathfinder. Alrighty. Alright. A 19. 19. Let's see. 
that is a success. I'm going to grab it by his throat and just smile at it. <sighs> okay. Uh, Karun is right next to you and says, Oh, you got it? Good. Um, we should probably kill it while we can. I will help you because I'm very helpful. And I will stab at it with a dagger. Um, what does a grapple do? Is it minus? Definitely flat-footed. Flat-footed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It was just a success, not a critical success, so... Your target is grabbed until the end of your next turn unless you move or target escapes. Uh, restrained. Grabbed. It's restrained. That's the condition. Giving you the flat-footed and immobilized conditions. Yeah, you okay. should be able to click it on the sheet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. okay. It doesn't have the same sheet that you do. Um, ah. Okay. So flat-footed is minus two. Uh, but unfortunately... That's not going to help in this case. Uh, that's a miss. It manages to just wiggle out of the way. Uh, Karun will stab again. Oh. That is a five. Another miss. Damn it. Um, okay. Uh, it's kind of still wiggling. Can you hold it better? I'm just going to snare it. Because I used a range strike. It should, it should be the same thing. Uh, anyway. Oh, 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 no! Wow. Oh, wow. Remember uh, when I said she was rolling so great? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a critical fail. Uh, we're going to save the hero point, I think. Um, that is a miss, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, the creatures. Uh, this one that you are currently grappling. Um need to see. I think there is a flat check that just happens right off the bat. Oh, really? Uh, if you attempt and manipulate... No, no, no. You're good. Escape. Yeah, uh, uh, it has to try and escape. It does. It will definitely try and escape. Um, this... You need me to show you that. Uh, escape, acrobatics, or athletics. He's pretty good at both of those. Yep. Uh, we're gonna do an acrobatics. Ooh, 29. And this Against will be... Against what? <laughs> I have to make an acrobatics roll myself. The, typically the athletics DC of the creature grabbing you. Okay, so what Whatever is your is. athletics score? I don't know where to look for that. Uh, What's your athletics skill check? What is the skill? Do I just press the button? No. What is the, the, plus. Skill, the number? The modifier. Mm -hmm. Oh, the modifier is four. Uh, ten in the... It's a ten? Little circle. The modifier is four. Here, okay. I'll just... No. Screen check, because I don't know what you're... Here. Uh, I just need to know what the number is for the skill. The, the in total the in circle? the circle, yes. Total in the yeah, circle, ten. yes. Ten. That's what I need. Okay. Uh, so 10. Uh, so it rolled a 29. Um, basically, the way that it normally works is you do 10 plus whatever your whatever your um, uh, number is for that. Modifier. Yeah. Mm. So uh, okay. it does manage to break free. <sighs> it just sort of wiggles out of the way. It's got so many arms. They're just kind of like pushing you in the face, you know, and like uh, it just... It's not overpowering you. It's just it's being so wiggly that it manages to break free. Um, and it's going to use an action to do that. And then um, I think it's going to try to take a bite out of you. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, with its jaws, its horrible beak jaws. And that's a 29 to hit for 11 slashing damage. Yeah, that hits. 
And then it will use its last action to climb. It goes back up the wall 40 feet. Okay. Uh, the other one on the eastern side has a new friend. It will aim its heat beam at its new friend. It is sickened currently. And let's see, sickened. Uh, you feel a uh, penalty in all checks and DCs. Yes, you can't willingly ingest anything. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of a little pukey looking on the, in the vines there. Uh, but it will cast a heat beam towards you, Arashtok. I need you to make a fortitude save. Nine! Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh no. That is a crit, buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do zero point for that. Fuck that. No, absolutely not. Let's see if we do us. We did better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not a crit anymore. That's, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Still going to hurt. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, a crit would have knocked me out entirely. Oh, even at full no. health. Oh, God. Uh, good. I'm boycotting Wax Steven. Wait Call a minute. There's... How much damage does Yara take from that? Oh, three of Not. it. Oh, yes. I do take three of it. Oh, that's right. You did switch But that's your... only on the first damage. The rest are all full. Yes, yeah. the rest of it, you take everything. Okay. Uh, and then uh, another fortitude save, please. That's 12. That is a fail. Yep. Rolo. Oh. Goodbye. I'm unconscious. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh, and dying. Yeah, that, that's the other one. Yeah, you are dying one. Um. And I need to check on something real quick. Oh, if it blasts me again and then kills me? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, this is important chat. I need to make sure this is correct. and reflex saves blinded and flat-footed I think your fortitude save is still the same um, but you take a minus four status penalty oh no minus four status penalty to AC perception and reflex doesn't affect fortitude. But you will have to make another fortitude check. All right. Well, I'm using the guidance I cast. So this will be a plus one. 19, 20. Okay. That's good. Um, you are not affected by the final heat beam. But you are unconscious and dying. Okay. Dying one or two? Dying one. One. Okay, good. Now, uh, we move you right before the creature in the turn order, and it is Yara's turn. Oh, gods. I'm going to go ahead and for my first, uh, for my first action, I want to do level two or level one. 
Um, first and foremost, I will use an action to go ahead and apply more herbs to my arms. I'm utilizing my exception for the day for my medic dedication uh, to do battle medicine upon myself, uh, utilizing a trained level with my assurance. And that is 14 points of healing to me. So I'm now at 37 HP. Um, with that, I am then going to go ahead and utilize my last two actions to cast a level two heal for two actions on Rashtok from, uh, I believe it's 10 feet away from him. Uh, that being said, uh, I will be getting plus 16 to the heal on him regardless, and I will be rolling 2d12 here as I have my oracular curse at moderate. Um, so I actually should have taken one less healing, I believe. I'm not sure if that counts towards battle medicine, but whatever. Um, so I'll be rolling the 2d12 and adding my 16 here. Let's go, Ross Tuck. Okay, the 2d12, and then you add 16 to that. Hey, 35. Some didn't allow me to do it. <laughs> Back to <Rise>! full health. <laughs> <laughs> Go prone on the ground, and uh, there's probably like. You're the ed you look a little bit like Charmander, like the end of your tail is just just a little bit on fire. Smoldering a little yeah. bit, yes. Yes, and you're feeling this very cold, relaxing energy all around you with this golden light. Uh, darling, we're not done with you yet. Get the fuck up, please. Thank you. I didn't... <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Malavik, it's your turn. <sighs> thing is 40 feet back in the air. Great. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I'll just keep slashing. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay. That, uh, needs to make an athletics check. That is a fail. It Good. falls back down to the ground. Is it prone or is it, is it standing? It is not prone. It is standing. Okay, I am going to overhead slash this thing. Okay. 17. That is a miss. Oh, for my last action, it doesn't make any sense for me to do the same action. I'm going to try to grapple it again. Okay. 17. Ooh. Sorry, I just need to double check. That is a success. Someone kill this thing with me. Uh, I'm I'm just going to choke it. Again. I'm trying, but it's so wiggly. I'm barely keeping us alive over here, darling. Just slice its head off or something, please. Okay, I'll do exactly that right now. <laughs> but not because you told me to, because Certainly I want not. to. I hold it right in front of her face. <laughs> Touching the dagger. <laughs> she, she, she stabs my hand, I guess. <laughs> it's so wiggly. Hold it better. Um, okay. Uh, that's a miss with the first dagger attack. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to just... I'm better with these, okay? Um, Karun steps back and you see her like oh! hold a bomb and she just launches a bomb at this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she's gonna throw a uh, lesser dread ampule at this creature. Uh, uh, she throws it. <sighs> It just the smoke starts to spread out all around you, um, and uh, you can hear the creature 
like shake in in some kind of pain from it. I did something this time at least. <laughs> and uh that's going to be it for Karun's turn. Arashtak. Yes. I use one action. Asia. <laughs> Come. But she slithers back down the wall and wraps around my arm again. And for my final two actions, I get the fuck away from that thing around the corner out of its sight and hunker down for cover. <laughs> and that is my turn. Okay. Uh, this creature uh, that is next to Malavik. Uh, it will try and break free, first of all. So what does that have to be to 20? Uh, yeah. It does not break free. Uh, it will try again. It fails twice! Third time! Fails a third time! You've just got this thing grip tight. Even, tight, even yeah. tighter. It's just wiggling around, trying its best to break free, and it's not working. Uh, this time, the one up on the eastern wall will go for Karoon with its heat blasts. Karoon, completely unaware of the one on the eastern wall, still alive. What's going on over there? The lizard's got that one. I don't have to worry at all. The wizard knows what he's doing, you know. Way really competent and totally able to handle any sort of problem that comes its way. And that's a crit on the fortitude save for Karoon. Um, on the first one. It's getting pretty hot, though. A little strange, you know. It's kind of wet in here and damp. It shouldn't be so hot. 14 is a... M Fail on this one. Uh, as Karun takes 13 fire damage. Whoa! Yeah! Uh, something's casting fire on me! God. And then the last fortitude save. Let's hopefully not mean the very last one. That is a success. Okay. Karun is frantically tapping out fires that are starting on on her person uh and it is her turn uh, oh, i also would have taken three damage for her as well okay thank you they stay mm -hmm. up um on each person that you cast it on yes oh, it wow. is uh okay. yeah it's it's awesome that's why the life oracle is such a fun class okay but right. i'm also taking all of that damage so yep. Yep. higher levels it's gonna suck okay uh, Karun, um, will, uh, I think we'll just lob another bomb, um, at this, uh, creature that is currently being held. This time it's going to be a little explodey napalm fire. Lesser Wait, this is not going to hurt me, is it? No. No. Karun is a very competent bomber. And that is a hit. Uh, okay, and uh, the fire, uh, this time the napalm spreads all over the creature. Uh, dead on here, uh, Malavik, directly in front of you as you're uh, grasping. It hits its lower body, just kind of enveloping this creature in uh, this little fireball. Uh, it squeals and wiggles in pain from the attack. And you can That's, see um, it is also on fire. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, yes, I got it. Okay, I'm contributing. Um, uh, and then uh, Karun will uh, hide in the vines and take cover. Okay. Um, Malavik, it is your turn. <laughs> I'm going to take one hand with the sword and cleave his head while I'm holding it. Okay. Now, I think when it is versatile, you do less damage with one hand. 
It goes down to die, I believe. I have to look it up. Let me see. Uh, uh, let's see. Hold race sword in one hand, perfectly still in between attacks to do things. Uh, oh. I'm guessing to swing, I need to use both hands. Uh, oh, so versatile is different in this game, dude. A versatile ah. weapon can be used to deal a different type of damage than the listed, than that Thrusting listed. Thrusting and cutting. Yeah, so yeah, it's piercing or slashing. It's not one-handed or two-handed. It's different than 5 Interesting. Eight. Okay, great. So I get my full damage. Mm -hmm. No, you can't mm -hmm. use your sword. We've been doing that in okay. error. While you have yes, this thing grappled, you, you can do it. You can punch it. Oh, I think... I didn't... I don't think I even swung at it. You did when it I had know. to grab it before. Not so I'm going to... Grab. Yeah, I'm going to punch it. I still get plus two with rage. Okay. I don't get... Wait, do I get plus four? I think I have to have it on the weapon. Let's just make it fair. 14. It's a 14. Is a miss. Even with debuffs? Yeah. <sighs> okay. You said there was something in the water. You swimming, rolled a right? six, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said there was something in the water, right? I did, yes. Yep. All right, I'm going to launch this shit in the water then. <laughs> okay, make an athletics yeah. check. 16. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're able to bring it over here, but I don't think with a 16 you're able to throw it, unfortunately. Okay. If that's the case, I can just walk over and hold it in the water. <laughs> Drown it. Um, no, you'll need, you'll need another <laughs> athletics check because normally you can only drag it five feet. This is to throw it? Another athletics check to yeah. throw it? Okay, that's fine. 24. 24 will work. I'm going to say that you're able to get it just barely in the water over here. Uh, you launch it into the water. <laughs> and it's going to need to make... Let's say a reflex save. Okay. Uh, it can swim. It does appear to be... Uh, but it's splashing and making a yes. ruckus, correct? Yep. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, I think that's it. I punched it. I... Tried to throw it and I threw it. Okay, I'm done. All right, Yara. Oh, it's me now. Wonderful. Um. Hmm. Well, that one is still alive in the water, is it not? It is, but it's in the water. Hmm. So the. No. All right. I will go ahead and I will uh, cast a. Needle darts towards the one on the eastern wall that has been persistently attacking us. Oh, not forbidding water. Hold on. Needle darts. There we are. Uh, and that most certainly misses um, for a, a n natural one. Um, so for my final action, then. Did the turn uh, order get messed up? I know a Rostock move, but I feel like everybody yeah, had order. What happened? It is a little weird. Uh, oh, so yeah. Malavik Yara's went, before yeah, Yara, me. Yeah, yeah. So Yara, oh, technically. Uh, a Rostock is supposed to go here. This is the order. Yara, it's not your turn yet. I'm sorry. Very good. Um, All right. It's Karun's turn right now. Uh, I must have hit the... We I'm, had the creature you, go a turn already, though, within yes. that turn order. So he should be skipped this turn because he already went. Okay. Yes. Uh, and Karun went because she caught the thing on fire before it was thrown. So I think right, it's right. just me Monkey now. Karun, it's you me. and then Yara, we'll say. And then, we, and then we'll start fresh. Very good. All right. Oh, gods. Well. I step out around the corner and... Hey! Frost, ray of frost at the one on the eastern wall. <laughs> For myth. Oh boy. Oh no, the rolls are not happening right now. You guys are rolling like sixes. For all yep. of these. Oh, sixes and boy. ones. All right, that's my turn. This okay. is adding your spell modifier as well. For oh yes. Attackers. Yeah, that's a plus eight. Ouch. Yep. 
Three and a five. Yep. Yep. No, that's correct. Yep. Uh, that is a miss. Oh boy. I'm hitting my rolls, but it's on trees, fun or vines. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Um, Arashtak, your finger gets really cold, and uh, the snowball kind of forms and. It feels better than the heat that we've been dealing with, but sure. I guess that's all I can do. Yara, it's your turn. All right, now I will wave my hand over the sword again. <sighs> For the love of everything. And I will launch an assault with my needle darts at this creature for a 21 to hit. Which one? The one on the Eastern wall. Okay. Um, and that will be 12 points of damage to this creature. Um, I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but the sword was, um, I think, cold iron or something. Yes, as well. it is I forgot cold to mention iron. that. It's not in this case. Very good. Um, it falls down to the ground and... Oh, it will actually take damage there. Takes a little bit of damage. Ah, very good. Oh. All right. Well then, um, that being said, I've got one more action that I can do. So what I will do is I will, I will go ahead and cast guidance upon myself. So I get a plus one to a saving throw or perception check or attack. And that'll be my turn. Okay, round seven. Alaric. All right, um. I got it onto the ground for you, darling. I'm going to sudden charge the one on the east. We have to finish this quickly. Um, and I start to feel the draconid energy draining away slowly. No slash in a downward fashion. Now, is this one prone or is it standing? It's standing. Yeah. Okay. A 19. Ooh, that's just barely a hit. <laughs> it's also uh, sickened, so it would be even worse. Uh. You strike it with 16 uh. slashing damage. Uh, some of that being fire. Very nice. And I, I will continue to hack at this creature. Got one more action. Seventeen. Seventeen is unfortunately a miss. Even second. What does second do? Second and Minus. prone. It's not prone. It's not prone. It's, it's oh, just, I thought uh, it hit the ground because of the die. See, I see. Yeah, it did fall. It didn't fall prone though. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. It's just barely a miss, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. Uh. I think your sword probably like as you came down with the first strike, it just kind of got caught up in some of the plants and you bring it back up and they uh, change the trajectory of your swing. <sighs> okay. Uh, Karun uh, says, um, okay, uh, well, that one's still in the water. I'm going to throw a bomb at it and blow that thing up because it. I don't think it would make a very good pet anymore. Um, and I'll throw my lesser dread ampule. And that will kill it as the smoke just sort of... Uh, this creature takes like a deep breath as it like bursts forth from the waters trying to swim up. And you see like this, uh, the smoke just like... Like get inhaled through through its nose and ears and eyes, and then suddenly, like blood just starts to trickle out. It makes this horrible squelchy noise as it sinks under the water. I got it. Mm. Masterfully done, darling. Good. And then I will drink a minor elixir of life. Because, ow. And that is a 1d6 to heal. Okay, that's not great. You know, I could have made this one a little better, but, you know, 
can't all be winners, okay? What are we all, Yara? Come on. <laughs> all right. Uh, Orashta. I believe, actually, if it's going 24 to 22, it should be the creature's turn. Not no, that or... I want it to be. No, it's Arash talks because he got, uh, he was down. <gasps> ah, right. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to clarify. Very good. Yes. So, uh, I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing, but uh, I, I've been doing something wrong uh, in your favor, Wack. Uh, for Goblin Pox. <laughs> This creature now that has Goblin Park Stage 2, it has one less action. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's what slowed is. Slowed one. Okay. I didn't so know that it has it, one less action. I didn't know that it escalated to, to stage mm -hmm. two. Yeah, each round it goes up a stage, yes. Oh. We did count that last time. I just thought it was move speed. It's not move speed, it's slowed one. Okay. I actually did not count that last time. That would have made a difference. Uh, uh, it didn't have it yet. Uh, it was stage two, I think, at the end of its turn, maybe? Okay. Or no, I w it, it, it didn't happen yet, so it's fine. It now on this next turn would be. Okay. And if not, whatever, it's fine. No, I didn't know it until now. Fortitude saves each time, or is it just the first no. time you cast it? No, it's the first time. It, wow. So it can reduce... Oh, I can't wait to use Scurvy. Yeah, it can reduce the second, but it can never go below the one. Uh, yes. It has to mm. take action to... Throw up, it basically. has to retch, throw up, reduce sickened. Next turn it gets sickened again. Retches, reduces sickened. Next turn it gets sickened, can't retch, make it go away. Very good. It's a horrible disease, and I'm very so proud it's of it. Sickened two at the moment. Uh, no, it's down. sickened one. It's. It, I do believe it stays. It's ah, sickened but one. It's Maybe because. It. Yes, it's add slowed. Correct. Very good. Mark it down. For uh, us. But with all that, just, just stay on the ground and. Pss <laughs> Okay, taking damage, any damage from falling does knock you prone. Okay, so yeah, then it is prone, let's say. Alrighty. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Okay. For the lowest possible damage. Five. <laughs> uh, 19 is a hit. What does prone do for ranged attacks? Uh. Oh, that's a good question. Flat-footed, minus two circumstance penalty to attack rolls. Uh, ah, you get yeah, a plus, plus four. four circumstance, yes. Okay. On range? Yeah, yes. from range. Wow. Because it's harder to hit while they're on the yeah. ground. Um, yeah, because only... Oh, one. negative four. No. Yes. <gasps> oh, because they can't move. So, no. Mate. A rush Mate. talk. Yeah. Is rolling yes. normal, they get a plus four yes. bonus to their AC. Yes. Because they because they are prone. Oh, only, the think AC. about it. Only ten percent of their body hit. is yeah. visible. No, 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 it makes sense. Prone. I thought you um, said yeah, yeah. something yeah. else. Circumstances okay. to hit. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, no, that's it's uh, to the AC. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. Uh, you rolled a nineteen. Yes. So. Uh, I think I do miss then. Their AC is a nineteen, so they got minus two and then plus two. Uh, effectively. Uh, or plus, minus, so plus two overall. Uh, so they yes. got a 21. They mi I so, miss, yeah. yes. This is a miss. All right. Okay. I pop around back to the corner out of its, its sight. Okay. Uh, That's all I do. Yeah, this creature down on the ground is uh, going to stand up uh, for one of his actions. It has one more. <laughs> uh... And then it will try to, uh, I imagine it's going to try and climb and get the fuck out of here. It's going to, uh, climb 40 feet. That is 40 foot climb? Yes. Shit. Oof. All them arms. Yeah. Yara, it's your turn. All right. Well, um, I am going to go ahead and, hmm. Malavik's looking a little beat up, is he not? I will go ahead and I will move up to Malavik and I will... Oh wait, actually I cannot use battle medicine at the moment on him. Um, so I will retcon that, actually. Uh, I'm going to launch into a full assault on this damn thing. Uh, I will be casting my hand over the blade again. The needles will spawn above my hand and operate and I will be 
shooting these needle darts towards this creature that is on the wall for a 22 to hit for 8 damage. Okay. See, this thing is really hurt. Very good. All right. Now, with my final action, I will be going ahead and I will cast... Um... I'll cast Guidance on Malavik, actually. So you get a plus one to any saving throws, uh, skill checks, or an attack of your choosing. <laughs> and that will be my round. Okay. Does it have to... Yeah, uh, does it make oh, it an athletics to, check? It would have to make an athletics check since we, since we hit it, I believe. Yep. Very good. All right. Success. Round nine. <sighs> Okay. This is round nine. That was round seven last time. Okay. Woo! All right. Well, I look back at the others and I start to show some weariness. <sighs> Bear through the pain and what will happen if I throw my great sword at it? Well, you either hit it or you won't. I will, well, how, well, what do, how do I do this? <laughs> Is what I'm asking. I mean, he's asking for penalties. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think there will be a circumstance penalty to the throw, basically, because uh, you're not Do I like. Roll great sword, and then you negative yeah, from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can make an attack roll. I'm going to one. do that. I'm throwing this great sword. A twenty-six. Twenty-seven. If you choose. That, yeah, I'm going to say that that still hits, uh, even with a minus four circumstance penalty. Oh, it's negative two improv weapon. Okay, cool. So, yes, I will spin and just launch my greatsword. How do you kill it? Frustration. Wow. I want to decapitate it and pin the other part of his body on the wall. And now I have to climb up and get my damn sword. Yay. And I'll fall to one knee and lose my rage. <sighs> I hate these things. What are they? I don't know. They look like... They look like really... Really gross versions of, you know, have you ever seen a sloth? Sloths are adorable, but not them. I don't think I've seen one, and I don't want them to look like this. I'm just going to climb. To get my sword, I made an athletic check as a 23. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Easy. Easy peasy. Climb back up, grab the sword. <laughs> Put it on my back and I'll climb down and slump against the wall. I need a moment. Take a moment. Yes, um. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, Lots of burns from those things. What was that? It felt like they were in my mind. No idea, but it was quite terrible. All right, um, let us take a moment then. Gather ourselves, yes? Before we move on? Yes. Can I, can and I, I would like to look around the chamber. Uh, yes. Sure. Um, to see if there is anything else. Yeah, uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me, Yara. Fifteen. What are you looking for? Any sort of danger, danger, uh, uh, m monsters, essentially. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you take your time and kind of like look around a little bit. Um, we'll say this takes like, like five minutes or so. Um, just kind of looking around or anything that might be hiding. Uh, you don't really see anything amongst the vines. You look in the water and you do see something moving down below. You can't quite make it out. Uh, on that note, I am watching like a hawk or, or perhaps a lizard that can see in the dark. Uh, this creature right here that is floating and bleeding and bobbing in the water. Mm -hmm. I am watching that to see what happens to it. And that is all I'm focusing on. All right, I would dust off my skirts and I will move over to Malavik. 
and I'll begin trying to uh, treat his wounds uh, for the next ten minutes. That is all right. Sure. Or ten points of healing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> She'll just notice there's a uh, ton of burns, cuts, scrapes from the claws. I uh, just don't look too good. No, this is quite bad. Quite bad indeed. How is everyone else? Are you all wounded? You got me well right as rain, except for, and you'd see while I'm healthy, there's a, there's a gash that is not quite sealed. Oh, well, that is very bad. You are not healthy. Uh, oh, um, I may have fallen, uh, I may have fallen on a rock. Yes, um, I, I would rush over then and spend another 10 minutes if there is time, if we are not attacked. I'll make the roll just so we have it with assurance. Or 14 points of healing on you, which does not matter, you are full HP, but it will remove your wounded condition. Uh, thank you. Yes. Um, so while you were looking around and stuff, uh, I think that you, you could see that there were some kind of statues or something uh, across the water mm. here. Kind of bas-relief statues. When I am uh, attempting to stitch up the gaping wound that Ararashtak has, I will uh, motion with my chin over towards the uh, statues. You might not be able to see them. I'm unsure if they're lit, but there are some statues over there. I think with my light I can. I'm not 100% sure. What is that noise? A plane over someone? Mm. It's just not there. here. It's not me. It's gone if somebody muted. I was not muted the entire testing, time. Testing, testing. Okay. No. Yeah, it's all right. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> I might barely be able to make out those statues, but not by much. Nah, you have to get a closer look. Yeah. As in, like, I might see a shadow of it, but I, I don't know what they are. Mm. It's out of my view. Does you can definitely matter? tell that they're statues. Okay. It looks it's like some kind of humanoid from where you are. <sighs> go back to watching this thing. Make, Is anything sure, make happening? A, make a perception check for me, Arashtok. <laughs> 17. Yeah, Arashtok, the thing that you see moving down there, there's some plant growth down at the bottom of that water. Ah, there's just plants? Yeah. Oh, all right, that makes me feel better. The, the plants down there was moving. There, oh. There is something down there that's also seemingly shiny. Yeah, no, I'm going in there. Now that I know it's not a creature, I'm looking down there. Uh... Huh. Uh, no, it's it's fine. There's nothing alive down there. Or oh, if there is, it's probably I'm small. I'm two wounded companions. Won't and me bleeding well. from all it's the orifices. Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm laid up against crisp. the wall. I'm all Just right, and I dive in cool. after that. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, so tangled up uh, amongst some of the uh, plants <clears throat> and things, you can see some stuff down here, Arashtok. Do you grab said stuff? Uh, I'd see if it's sharp, bitey, or pointy first before I just blindly grab it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's looks like it's like an open and sort of partly rotted uh, bag of some kind. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'll grab whatever I can and go up and set it up. And if there's more, I'll make as many trips as I need. I don't know how much, but if it's a rotten bag, it may have spilled over whatever it could be. Sure. So I'm just grabbing things, plopping them up on the the edge, and then going back and forth. Okay. I guess it takes only one or two at most. Yeah, uh, just the bag itself uh, will help you in this. You can make one trip. Hmm. Um, inside, you find 36 gold pieces. Uh, there is also some kind of stoppered vial that is there as well. Aha. Uh-huh. must have been whatever was 
glinting that you saw. Ah. All right. Well, there is some gold in here. Uh, someone else may not have been so lucky in their trip with these things. Mm. And I'm then just trying this... to wrap my wounds while listening to Rasta. Mm. Uh, Karun, uh, this is your expertise here. Oh, what is it? Ooh. I don't know. You might be able to find out and determine it. Let's take a look and see what I know about this vial. If it is some kind of vile substance in the vial. It uh, might be. If so, it's yours. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Seventeen on my crafting check, which is just awful. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I don't know what that is. I I might have to study it for a while. All right, do you want me to hold on to it, or do you? Well, if it's vile based, you know, I have this belt and these, you know, these bracers that have little holsters for the vials, so I mean, you know. Uh, no, that's fine. I have. Saying it, my by name. all means, yeah. I hand it over, also having what looks like a potion pandelier. <laughs> yeah, but you know, my hand's little embroidery on it. No, it's fine. No, I, I, I actually don't want it. it. It is yours, Karun. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. You know, considering that my bombs didn't really do very much. I actually have to take a look at Karun's sheet. I feel like there's something off. Um, just to verify everything. I feel like there should be more damage being done by some of these things. Um, yeah, you'd hope and think, yeah. but... <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I gotta just verify with Path Builder that... Uh, that everything's correct. There's just so many nooks and crannies on these character sheets. Just oh, to yeah. like double check that everything is like all lining up correctly is every uh, single yeah. spell. That's that was you my familiar check. stuff that I did today. Yes. That was research because it doesn't tell me in Path Builder any of that, which right. is even more fun. But it is in the core book. We will mark this as unknown vile. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, okay. And yeah, you are all sort of trying to recuperate a little bit after that. What next? Um, in the time that uh, Aras Chalk was going delving, uh, I would have spent a moment to really focus in order to reduce my curse and gain a focus point back, if that is all right. I'm unsure how long he is diving under there for. Uh, not very long, but I, mean, uh, you can I have take a swim the... speed, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can take the time to do that if yes, you'd like. I would like to. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, I look around. Yeah, oh, gods. Yeah. Yes, if Karun and... Uh, uh, Karun, how are you feeling? You know, a little crispy. Hmm. And... Malavik, are you alright? I see you binding wounds. I... I, I don't... Well, uh, his, his I don't know if Yara is next to me or not, or, or, or what, but if... Where um, are you? Wait, where's everyone? Well, I is had everyone gone where over to help uh, Arash talk before he dove in. Um, so I would have probably moved back in between you and Karuna at that point. Uh, while refocusing to gain a moment for myself. Yeah, because just I have be... zero focus points. Yes. yes. <laughs> they still need some work. The both All need... right. If you... Yes. If you give me some time to recover and meditate after this, I should be able to help them. Very good. Uh, and I will use... Life Boost. And at this level, it is... After four rounds, 16 points of healing. Okay. Per person, so I'm putting it on both Karun and Malavik using my two focus points. Very nice. Okay. Beautiful. Wait, what? So, so 16? 
a 16. 16. It's probably when having so much health. <laughs> Listen, take what I you can get. Stop <laughs> no, I, you're I'm, still I, taking too much. I'm, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. <laughs> God, a lot of health is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Yes, indeed. I see you complaining after I'm like healing you and your wounds are knitting naturally together. Are we ready when for mom a long used to rest do it. already? No, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I, could, I could take it away if you wish. <laughs> and I can take yours away as well. I mean. make my, yes, you could, and that would be very good for you later. I'm, I'm just remembering a time where, uh, this is extremely off topic, but in Star Citizen, they had a... A uh, money glitch, and I got the most expensive ship in the game, which is a, sp a giant space yacht, and it has a half court basketball court on the ship. <laughs> and I'm giving know, Frank a tour of the ship, and he's like, "Man, it's only half court. <laughs> it's a basketball court on a spaceship, dude." I'm just saying, he spent all that money should have been full court. Shit. <laughs> That was so funny. <sighs> so, yeah. with that, then I, after using that on them, I sit down. If you are able to buy me some time, I can recover this for later. I'll just look towards Yara, <clears throat> um, since they're next to me, and I'll just go. I need more healing. Right there. Uh, it's just don't we all? And I'll finish up on of... him. <laughs> we'll spend the extra okay. ten minutes. Me, I've got like crispy bits just falling off my grey skin. In my tribe, we call that character. So I will use my assurance, <laughs> a trained level, and give you eight points of healing. Couldn't give two more, could you? No! I'm just kidding. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Every 10 minutes, I can get a focus point back with my meditations. So I leave that to whack on how long I have. If they're giving me the time, I will take it. It's perfect. Well, it As I sit there and nothing, for that one heal. Nothing seems to bother you while you're here. All right. Good. Yes. So Bugs will, begin so here's, swirling around me as I meditate. Basically, you guys tell me when you're taking these times. Uh, you, you've been here for an additional, I think, 40 minutes uh, mm -hmm. after that so far. Uh, yes. Something like that. It's not a jungle. Better forty minutes yeah. than dead. It's yes. That is a Indeed. very good point, Malavik. It's not the fucking jungle where it's death around you, every corner, you, at least as far as you know. You sneeze and something eats your leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I I look at Yara and I I um, squeeze her hand. Thank you. It's mm. Perfect. And I'll get up and uh, I want to inspect these creatures but well at least this creature's corpse next to me uh sure. I'm gonna see if there's anything i can salvage off of it sure make a survival check <gasps> 21. uh okay uh yeah i mean you can kind of i think you get the impression that this isn't really the best eating there's a lot of muscle here oh i'm looking for whatever causes fire oh you don't find anything that would do that. Um, you're, it, it, there's no gland or anything like you found inside those cats mm. or anything. Um, and there's this weird moment as you're going to do all this. I think you might put two and two together. This weird like headache sensation. Mm. Um, it, it, it wasn't like there was a... Um, uh, a gas or anything along those lines that got sprayed uh, out from this creature. It's it's some kind of other magic or something that happened mm, there. Yeah, um, so I'll cut it up. I'll just think mm, sorcery. But and I'll, uh, you yeah. do manage to uh, get beaks and uh, talons from this thing. Mm. Uh, the beak uh, and there's teeth and talons. Um... Yeah, and there's a fair amount of that. Nothing really food-wise here. It's uh, fine. And I'll have Karun make a, a, a crafting beak or something. Is there a weight to this beacon talons collectively? Um, not much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big. I'll just throw um, it in my adventures back then. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to have Karun make a roll here as well. Ooh, no. Not a 
able to get anything from these guys. Okay. I'll turn around and smile as I hold up the carcass and look at no one's paying attention and I'll just throw it down. I felt uh, pretty proud of myself that I didn't obliterate it. Uh, good work! And I am having, there's a glowing light that I'm using on my burns. I'm trying to accelerate the healing and everything since we've taken a little bit more time. Uh, and uh, that <clears throat> will get me back to full. So I believe a talk then would also have that time to use the focus point. Or to redeem another focus point. Okay. Very good. After about 20 minutes, I kind of just move my claws slightly and the bugs dissipate and fly away from me. I am well enough. Are we mm. Indeed. okay moving forward? Yeah, I would like to leap across, uh, leap to this rock, and then leap to the sure. um, no other check. side. No check is required because it's within uh, distance. I that swim was... to the edge, but don't climb up yet as I'm peering over the edge of the water, <laughs> looking I'll, at the statues. I'll, I'll stand right here. <laughs> Not going any further. Sure. Uh, ooh, I can see a lot, though. Uh, shall we lay it to the group? Um, one, two, three. And what do I see? There are eight statues lined up against each side of the walls, uh, going down each side. Seven on one side, eight on the other. If you're looking, if I'm facing the wall, then on the left side is seven, eight on the right. It's actually more than that. Um, eh? The walls of this natural oh. stone cavern have been carved into dozens of bas-relief statues. Many are familiar humanoids wearing robes and carrying books or staves, but others are insectile, reptilian, rodential, or completely unrecognizable. <clears throat> Should I play guinea pig? Perhaps wait for me. Uh, oh, oh! I forgot. I'm, I'm going the to. Water. Wait, wait! Before you go, I'll go across and I'll. Uh, um. Yeah. yeah well, I, I could yeet. Uh, do you, do you mind getting wet or do you want me to carry you? Um, please don't let me get wet. You can okay. leap across. Yes, I just okay. right. Yes, I, I, I will leave. Can I help, I guess? Uh, no, you have to make a check. Never mind. No, ah. I'm just traumatized, as you see. And so I will gather my skirts and I will attempt to make another jump or a jump uh, onto the rock. Um. There's a room. I will tap Karoon. Are you going forward? Uh, perhaps no one leave that rock until we figure out what these statues might do. I would much like not to be in the middle of the water, so I would like to make the jump beforehand. Thank you. Then okay. go yes. back. I created room. Uh, oh, there, enough. that's fine. Yes. Yes. There's room I right here. Making that secondary leap uh. if Karoon is staying there. Uh, well, I'm waiting for the lizard to get out of the way. I'm just in the water. I swim to the other side. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. All right. Uh, who's <sighs> going to be the testy? I guess I will. I huh? cast guidance on you. I looked at you. Um, huh? He's actually immune for an hour. We used it in combat. So he it has not been it. an hour yet. That's... You're right. It's close, but not quite. It's fine. That'll be fine. Um, I guess what I will do is, what, what, can you describe the statue I'm next to? Sure. Um, this one in particular is uh, humanoid looking. It looks elven. Okay. I will walk past it once and stand in between the statues. What is your intelligence score, Malavik? Zero. Not your modifier, your score. Oh, 10. Okay. Uh, I would like you to please make a will save for me. I knew it. Good luck. I will re-roll that. As you said, good luck. Um, it's my last hero point. 
If there's any ancestors that can give me some kind of knowledge, my head is thick. Screw you, ancestors. <laughs> ancestors, hear my plea. All right. You know. They did not. Okay. Yeah, they, they were like, you smash stuff. Yay. Is it going to be PvP all over again? Oh, boy. The cave begins to fall away from your sights, Malvik. Just me? Yep. Okay. As everything begins to change around you. Malavik, what is your most shameful memory? <sighs> when I was younger, before, before I made it to my tribe, I was told that I was a child of a beautiful, beautiful human woman. You see, before the changes settle in for us, as they call and screamed at me, hell spawn, I looked normal. But as I grew a little bit older, <laughs> months really, changes settled in. Skin color was waning. Little peaks of horns started to show, tail started to sprout. I was abandoned, thrown away. In the streets, I was found that those that would come up to me, as I was told for the one that found me, would spit on me, throw dirt on me, curse me. I was cast out and found weakened. I was found by a barbaric tribe. Even they, the children there, did not take well to me because as I grew older, a lot of my bodily features would change. I was scorned, called demon, hellspawn, and all sorts of bad wordage, you see, because, well, the events that happened in the world, okay, like, for instance, the world wound did not make me being a part of any group even easier. So, I would constantly get picked on, punched, lied to, manipulated. I was in a trial to gain my stripes, so to speak. I pushed to manhood. There were two. A girl and a boy. And they said that they wanted to help me. But they led me to a den of dire wolves. I am not the most intelligent one of if they may say I have no talent for magics, I have no talent for shamans. I was only growing bigger and larger. I well, I was pushed into that cave, and at the last moment, I pulled in the brother of this girl with me and he pushed me down and beat on me and then the fires grew lucky for us there were no wolves in that den but not lucky for him i burned him alive i came out with a scorching corpse and laid it in front of that young girl i apologized over and over again and we couldn't control it and she screamed Hell spawn and demon. When we get back to the village, and I'll tell everyone. I didn't make it back that day. I I 
left. And then I realize I have this uncontrollable rage that I don't know where it came from, but then... Once I found my brother... Malavik, darling. He gave me that same look. I'm a killer. What you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm just. All I can do is just smash stuff and kill things. And Malavik! Everyone around me deserves to die because I did nothing wrong! Malavik, you are <laughs> I did nothing! Malavik! <laughs> um, Those voices, them. Malavik. You begin to snap too. However, I need you to make a will save for me, please. 23. Okay, that is very good. Uh, there's this absolute savage attack on you right now, Malavik. You feel this pain, uh, you know, that, that pain that you feel from true sadness, that sort of pit in your stomach um, that that uh, comes forward, and you, you sort of, everything seems a little bit out of focus as you come to. You find yourself, like, halfway down this room uh, towards the other side. Everybody, please select your tokens. Uh, actually, not everybody. Uh, no, never mind. Sorry. You see Malavik about halfway through the room. You will not treat me the same. None of you will. Abandon me. I did nothing wrong. Malavik. Nothing. Look at us. Don't look at me that way. Look over <laughs> here, Malavik. We are not looking at you in any way other than concern, darling. What is going on? No. <laughs> I've seen those eyes before. Those concerns are lies. You judge me. I didn't mean to kill them. They attacked me. To kill who, Malavik? All of them. Screaming and pitting at me, the rage burned. It burned them all. Had nothing to do with me. I wasn't. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for these horns, this tail. You look at me. Go ahead and say it. Hell's spawn. Is that what you want to call it? Yes. Yeah. Demon. Is that what you want to call it? Then call it. Say it. I looked at my nose. Talk. Look. Rousing splash upon Ralevik's head. How far does Rousing Splash? 60 feet. Okay. Just calm down! This cold, invigorating water courses over you. It gives you more health. It makes you feel more invigorated. Gain 11 temporary HP. It only lasts <laughs> a minute, minute. But it is all right. Oh. We are not your enemies. I'll spin around and I'll look towards all the statues. Are they facing me? Are their faces looking directly at me? Not directly at you. The statues are facing in towards the room. <laughs> they judge me. I heard the voices. They were an illusion. What about you? We are not. You've traveled with us. <laughs> I've literally just bound your wounds, Malavik. I healed you. I am not. I am not a. I'm not a demon. I'm not a hell spot. I. You are not. I, that is correct. My mother was human. She loved me. I saw it in her eyes. She had to give me away. She had to. My brother took longer to change, but I did. I was instant. Just look over to Yara. Like, leave me. Malavik. I'll. Malavik. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I'll, and I'll just keep walking deeper into the cave. Shit. Okay, uh, Malavik. Please make a will save for me. I don't want to. 
I can't hurt you. 17. Uh-oh. I haven't I used wanna... your guidance yet. It's no, you didn't 18, have it on you. Never mind. Oh, Never mind. I didn't it's going, the, the duration's going to be coming up soon, though, for us to be able to cast it. I don't want to hurt anyone else. Maybe you're right, maybe. Malavik, you take 11 mental damage. <laughs> that was to your temp HP, thankfully. Um, <laughs> looking around, oh, yeah, right. do we do we notice um, any sort of uh, fixtures, any sort of buttons, anything um, uh, that I stands imme- out? Oh yeah, if I see you searching around, I'm doing detect magic. <laughs> Okay. They speak to me. Detect magic. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, make an arcana check for me, Arasha. The voices. Yes. yes. The same voice. 25. The same. Yes. Arasha. There definitely is magic that is happening here. You think that this is related to someone's intelligence. And anyone that is somewhat intelligent will see something horrible in their, from their memories as they pass <sighs> through this place. You think if you try to pass through here, you can each try to attempt to blank your mind as you make your way through, <sighs> and you may not well, suffer such effects. I'll go closer. And Just show Do me I know a button of some sort or something. It's, uh, it's a spell enchantment. Uh, your intellect directly affects what you remember. It's horrible. Something of that note. He's living a memory. Uh, you can do see I know magic. Uh, this is illusion-based magic, and this is having to do with eyes on each of these statues. Every single one. Is it all connected, or is it individual? Uh, there are four statues that are doing. Ah, uh, shit. Is he able to pinpoint which statues those are? Yes. Uh, and oh. that, that, that and that, you can see there's a very, very minor glow in the eyes. Very minor. I could take care of one of them without violence, but not anymore. I don't know if breaking them will work. Could we cover them? You mentioned the eyes, yes? Could we cover the eyes? So that they are sightless. If that is how it works, maybe. I am unsure. You rolled a 25 on your arcana check. Yes. Um, I'm going to say that... uh, It might make the difficulty of blanking your mind easier if you were to cover them. But you think... Actually, removing the eyes is the only way to stop it completely. Ah. Now, when Malavik went through, did we notice at which point he initially started to have this vision? Was it after the first statue, or was it after one of the ones that uh, uh, Arashtak has pointed out? Um, it it, it was after the uh, one of the first ones that Arashtak uh, pointed out. Very good. So. Perhaps if we do not go into the line of sight of it. Uh, uh, no, no, that won't solve it. Uh, but uh, I look to Karun. <laughs> you wanted eyes, yes? Oh yeah, I love eyes. But um, like a stone eye, I don't know if I can make that work. Maybe well, like later. No? I don't, I, neither here nor If we can remove the eyes, it will nullify the effect. Ah, I did notice that Malavik had gone past that first statue. Perhaps if uh, Karun uh, reaches over rather than, I don't know, re- rather than getting in the line of sight itself? You could do it from the side in theory, yes. All right. I mean, I can try. You know, uh, I be can s- too. We just have to pull, pop can, them out. I could be <laughs> stealthy about it, you know. It'd be better than I. Yes. Meh. <laughs> The stealth, I mean. Oh. I, maybe. I mean, like, if I had to rate myself. Would you like for me to do it then? 
I, I don't know. Are you particularly uh, stealthy? All right, I'm going to go ahead. And I will not be being stealthy. I will just go ahead and attempt to very carefully uh, reach my arm over Which one from are you the going top. To? Uh, the one that is first in line that was pointed out. Okay. So, uh, not in its line of sight, but my hand will be at some point while I'm trying to grab from above. Stealth check. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, uh, thievery check. Thievery. thievery. I'm plus five wants to have got damage. All right. Um. Eighteen. <laughs> Uh, Yara, ah. please make a will save. Indeed. 27. Okay. I've got a plus nine. Yeah. Uh, Yara, you keep it together, but, uh, yeah, you can definitely feel something start to go a little weird for you. You start to see your surroundings kind of blur a little bit, and you recognize ah. this illusion ah. spell being cast, and you just push your way through it. Was I able to retrieve the eyes from it? No. I oh, have a question. So that was the first part to sneak. Uh, that was to steal the to get to get the eye out. Oh, so it did not succeed. No. Oh. Hmm. Um, I will take a dagger from my uh boot here, and I will attempt to pry it out. Okay. Make an attack roll. Fifteen. Doesn't budge. This thing's not budging! Stay away! It's Malavik? <sighs> away from me! What were you saying? Um, since I am going through this, can I just recklessly swing? Um... So, here's what we're gonna do. It doesn't now, have to be at the actual statue, but... Here's what we're going to do. Just keep some organization. Everybody select their, your token, and please roll initiative. Because there are some mechanics here. This isn't combat, but this is... There are mechanics. Okay. And Karun... Uh, Stay away. Okay. All righty. Um, Yara, we're going to say you went. Malvik, mm -hmm. it is your turn. You can attempt to do something here. Yeah. You will see me popping in and out of rage. One minute raging, other moment out. Just confused. This time I am raging and I'm taking my sword out and I am slashing at anything near me. Stay away! Ah! I'll take whatever penalties need be since I am not focused. Okay. Uh, make an attack roll. Ah! Before. Okay. That is interesting. Uh, Malavik, you strike out and you, um, you feel your sword connect with something. Uh, the rest of you will see Malavik strike with the great sword and, uh, it damages this eye. It is seemingly nothing happens. <laughs> Since this is not a combat, we only get one turn each, right? Uh, yes, in this case, yes. Okay, uh, Karun says, I mean, uh, what should I do? I mean, I can try and go for the other one, you know? Hey, if you do, you're going to be affected by the one Yara's next to first, and then possibly also the other one. Throw something from afar. If we are to try and damage these, yes? Okay, yes. but like, if, it's stone. If you have, do you have an oil or some, anything that can cover the eyes, it won't remove the spell, but it will weaken it. Mm, I mean, 
I, I have some like, uh, that won't really do anything. I, I don't really have anything like that right now. Uh, cloth, any, anything oh, to cover. Wait, I do have a goopy sack. I will throw a goopy sack. Me too. I will throw my goopy sack. G good luck. I think. I hope. Is that what you say to someone when they throw their goopy sack? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> this will just be. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess Karun's gonna just throw the one, throw it at the one near you, Yara. Uh, and this will be a, we'll do a dex check. 14 is not enough. Um, it sort of, she throws one of the goopy sacks and it, uh, yeah, it just kind of like falls onto part of the statue. Did you do anything? No, you missed it entirely. Well, you know, it's not like I throw goopy sacks very often. It's not like it's a bomb. No, that's true. Your turn, Arash, shock. <sighs> I'm unsure. Sure, what I'd want to do. Because <sighs> I have to pass through one regardless if I am going to try to get to the next. <sighs> but uh, there's not much choice. Yara you tra said, since mm. I am working on this thing, um, would I count as within this thing's line of sight? Would did hit you. Obstruction? I'm sorry? Would you be obstructing it from somebody else? Uh, probably not. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. I just wanted to make sure, just so we um, got that out of the way. Alright, well, I'm... Okay, I'm gonna move to the next one and hope I can get that. And hope I don't have that happen. Pointing at Malavik. Yes, that would be wonderful. Please don't. So you're trying to make your way there as quickly as possible? Yeah, just trying to get to the second one bef right before it. Okay, we'll save. 22. I believe that is a success. Uh, you definitely start to see yeah. weird stuff, Arashtok, like colors and things sort of shifting to potential old memories. Uh, but you manage to weather that. Easily enough. If uh, movement's the action th th for that, then that's what I do. Okay. Alrighty. Oh boy. Malavik, please roll me a will save. Ah. Oof. Not enough. Uh, Malavik, these visions continue to torture you. And you take another five mental damage. You find yourself still able to move, Malavik, when your turn comes up, uh, but you're moving slowly. And you you can see the room again. Yara, it's your turn. Um, if I may, I would like to cut a piece off of my skirt. Long enough to drape over the eyes of this creature. Or this uh, statue, I mean. Okay. Very good. Um... Well, I suppose that's the best I can do. Uh, well, that being said, I will, um... That'll be your action, basically, then. The full three? You don't get three for this. 
but just doing one at a time yeah, for a, a time. just oh. a, a mechanic. All right. Yeah. Yes. All right then. Um. Well, then I suppose this is, that I am. This is a hazard. There. This is a special kind of thing. Yes. All right. Uh. Then I suppose I am staying there and not taking any movement, and that is my turn. Okay. Malvik. <sighs> Question, does anyone say out loud about the eyes? If not, I'm going to keep moving. We were talking about it out loud. Um, do, uh, do I hear anything? Or is it just becoming muffled in distant voices? Um, uh, GM. Make a perception check. 14. I think you picked up an okay amount of it. I'll let you be <clears throat> the judge. Hmm. I rolled a 14, to be fair. I don't think... Maybe I heard eyes. I've already attacked it once. And it didn't do anything. And right now, I'm suffering from flashbacks or... Maybe even think it's reality, so I will keep moving towards the wall. Okay. You feel your mind is less burdened. <laughs> no longer a part of this hazard. Why? Where are they? Where are they? They're gone. They were here. That'll be the end of my turn. Karun, uh, did you say something about, like, blanking your mind? Yes, I did. Okay, well, I can do that pretty well. I'm just saying, um, I'm going to go ahead and try and, you know, uh, just go blank and All right. walk through, um, and this will be Kana. Or occultism. And Karun's pretty good at both of those. We're gonna make an Arcana check. Karun walks through. Duh! Wow! I'm the best! I didn't think of anything that whole way through. Hey, it's fine over here. I mean, Malavik's freaking out a little, but, um, you know. Yeah, I'll be kind of crouched down, holding my knees and uh, trying not to look towards anyone. Come on, it's totally fine, you know. Just go blank. Yes. Mm. I'm... How... It's a terrible question. How shiny are these eyes? Like gems, or are they just stone that's enchanted? Uh, make a perception check. Fourteen. Just stone. Uh, I almost thought that maybe these could have some value when we get back. She rolled really well on it, yeah. But now, they're just stone. Yeah. I don't think that changes what I was going to do, which is pluck them out. I don't know if my head can go as empty as Karoon's. <laughs> really good at it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack roll and try to pry these out with my claws, as that is an attack. <sighs> Here we go. 19. Uh, your claws just scrabble at the eye. Sheesh. But that's all I do. Okie dokie. Yara, please make a will save for me. Indeed. 26. Okay, you keep it together. Uh, again, you feel this like assault on your senses and it kind of throws you for a loop for a second, but you grit your teeth and keep, keep your senses about you. All right, fuck it. Um, I will try to take a deep breath, and I will attempt to 
clear my mind here in order to make it past. You said it was arcana or occultism, yes? Yes. I will roll occultism for an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me just double check here. Uh, uh... All right, we'll save, please. 13. Ooh. Okay. Uh, plus two. Yep. 14 mental damage, Yara. Ow! Have I at least moved any bit, or am I in the same fucking spot? Uh, you have moved to the next eye. Um, which is the one Arastok is near? Yeah, the same distance, so you can be, you know, that, uh, yeah, one more space. Right. You can be right there. All right. <sighs> we need to get out of here! I agree. Uh, I'm getting Yara. to cradle my head. Yeah, as Yara moves, uh, she's saying this. Yara. What is your most shameful memory? Well, um, I was a, a medic on the front lines in the Gravelands in my life. Um, my sister was fighting alongside uh, the Knights of Lost Wall. I let her set off. This was uh, not long before I walked through the gate. Um, my sister was returned to me, bleeding, dying in front of me. I made every attempt within my power to try and save her. Um, Unfortunately, I was not enough. Not with my powers then. And she was a patient and she died in my hands. My sweet Vera. Covered in her blood, shaking profusely, just trying to wrap everything that I could, but I couldn't. The blood would not stop. Last breath faded from my grasp. I think she's freaking out too. No! No! You know, begin to shake her. Vera, no! Yara! Vera! Shit. I'm trying to scrub the blood off of my arms. Vera! 